I was looking for a, um, to grow as a leader and to grow through taking part in something that wasn't training and development, um, wasn't traditional education. Um, you know, I've, I've been there and I've done that. And um, at first I was attracted to the, the title um, Masterclass, a class on mastery. Um, but what I've come to find out is that this class isn't about mastery, it's about finding my beginner's mind again. When we come to the master class, uh, we never know what's going to happen. It's always a surprise and a gift, um, but there are always new practices. It, the, the magical effect here, you slow down and you go faster, and also is the great wisdom of the faculty, where they, they really uh, embody what they're teaching. And if you put that together, you, you multiply it by participants coming from all around the world, it brings really a, an exponential leap to, to, to whatever progression we want in our evolution in life. I think one of the highlights of the, of the class of this week, and in, in my first, I'm now in my, after two weeks here, is the context in which it happens. The, there are some amazing teachers here among the faculty and among the students, but the lead teacher is the forest. And the practice we've done in the forest, the, uh, the ability to put leadership in contacts at Windhorse Farm and in this forest has been the most amazing part of the experience for me. It's an amazing teacher. You can expect to fall in love with Windhorse Farm. This is a magical place. It's a magic. This is a place where magic happens. And to get glimpses of that magic, um, it's phenomenal. Jim and Margaret are amazing people who have created a place that is really um, the biggest faculty member of this journey, the biggest teacher here is Windhorse Farm. The wonderful thing about this master class, and I, I hope the master class to come, is that it is a process of co-creation around a circle with um, many professionals, albeit we have guides uh, that are, are steering us. Um, but the ability to start out with an intention but allow the intention to change over time depending on um, what's happening in the present. Sometimes we feel like the work that we want to do in the world that's related to change and creating change is really hard. Um, and when, when I became part of this class and became part of this community, um, you, you just feel supported in that work and you don't feel alone anymore and those connections um, have changed the way I face my challenges and obstacles when I'm home in my community. All of us uh, just sometimes know without really knowing. You know that this is the right decision to make without really having all the facts and without having all the information. So you already know if you need to be here. You already know if this is the right place for you to come. You've already heard that call. You're on this web page or seeing this video because uh, you know that it's time for something different and for that reason you know it's time to be here with as much or as little information as you may have about it already. Well, for someone who's considering to, uh, coming, I would say in a loving way, fasten your seatbelt. You're gonna have a big ride. You're gonna cry. You're gonna laugh. You're gonna enjoy the power of a community of people that they are here to, to make the world a better world, to, to have deepened relationships and to see the human being from heart to heart.